today we have some huge deals. RX 7000 GPUs come with this, 13th gen Intel CPUs released, and massive details on AMD's Ryzen 7000 CPUs. I'm talking 40% plus performance increases official and more. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, Newegg has officially kicked off their Memorial Day sale, and they've got some great deals on PC hardware. So I thought I'd go over a few of the bigger ones, and I'll have an affiliate link to the event down in the description below. It Shut doesn't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. Either way, first up, we have multiple deals up to a whopping 57% off of Rosewell PSUs. Next, there are quite a bit of deals on GPUs from most manufacturers, but they mostly get you to MSRP or just below. Low. Still, definitely something to look at if you've been waiting for that. Then we have some really good deals on Ryzen 5000 CPUs pretty much across the board. We're also finally starting to see DDR5 come down in price with deals here. Tons of deals on PC cases, SSDs, even NVMe SSDs, and more. Really, if you haven't checked it out yet, I highly suggest doing so because things are beginning to go out of stock already, and it ends in just a few days. So make sure to check that out. Let's just say hardware prices are finally looking normal. When it comes to the future of computers, quantum computing looks set to revolutionize multiple industries. Luckily, you can get ahead of the curve by learning all about it with Brilliant, the sponsor of today's video. From the fundamentals of algorithms, artificial neural networks, to yes, even quantum computing, Brilliant is the online learning platform that was made to teach the STEM field. And it's great for experts or even beginners who just want to dive deeper into tech. No matter what, Brilliant has something for you. And the best part is that they teach you with fun, interactive challenges. I really love their course on memory because it gave me a much deeper understanding of the systems involved. Really, if you love tech, you're gonna love Brilliant. Plus, you can try them out for free today when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 of you who visit the link get 20% off when you use my link. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermelt. Next up for today, AMD's next-gen RX 7000 GPUs look set to support something quite interesting. In a new patch on the Linux kernel, found by Kepler on Twitter, we can see that it mentions the UHBR20 standard. Basically, what that means is that AMD's next-gen GPUs are likely going to support DisplayPort 2.0, specifically the UHBR20 mode, which provides a whopping 80 gigabits per second bandwidth. So that's 48 gigabits per second more than DisplayPort 1.4a, and even 32 gigabits per second more than HDMI 2.1. That number would allow for uncompressed 10K or two 8K HDR screens at 120 Hz. As far as monitors that support the standard, they were originally set to come at the end of last year, but given the pandemic, the tech was delayed. Now that AMD's RX 7000 cards will likely support it, we should start to see monitors with the new standard before long. Fingers crossed. Next up, we have a huge leak on Intel's 13th Gen Raptor Lake. The story comes from known leaker enthusiastic citizen on Billy Billy. And according to him, Intel's upcoming Sapphire Rapid CPUs, which are set to be their next generation enthusiast lineup, think a successor to their Core X lineup in competition for AMD's Threadripper Pro, but they're called the W3400 and W2400. Either way, they're set to launch in October. Finally, he claims that Intel's 13th gen is set for release in October as well, along with the Z790 chipset, the H770 and B760, are then set for release in Q1 of next year. They won't be making the H710 though, instead opting to keep the H610 for the low-end market. Either way, Intel looks set to launch their follow-up to Alder Lake this year. Time will tell how it competes with Ryzen 7000. And lastly for today, I've got a ton of news on AMD's Ryzen 7000 CPUs. Some of it clarifies Computex and others blow it out of the water. For starters, AMD's own Frank Azor and Robert Halleck sat down with PC World to discuss the upcoming CPUs. And starting things off, if you remember in my coverage of the event, AMD demoed one of their next-gen CPUs. And during that, it actually showed the chip running at over 5.5 gigahertz. Well, during the interview, Robert Halleck actually explained that the CPU was running completely stopped, so no overclocking at all. Not only that, but it wasn't a single thread. In fact, he said most of the threads get to around 5.5 GHz, but it of course depends on the game. Now get this, it was a 16-core prototype, so we're talking 5.5 GHz across most of its 16 cores stopped. 
The next big thing comes from an interview with Robert Halleck by Hot Hardware. Here, he confirms that 16 cores is the maximum configuration for Ryzen 7000, so we won't be getting 24 or more cores. But he also said this. Yes, yeah, 16 cores is the maximum configuration, but uh, it's worth noting that we're getting 40 plus percent more performance out of that core count right now. So yeah, upwards of 40 plus percent in some workloads. And he specifically said right now, so it'll likely get even better. Not only that, but he confirms that the 15% single threaded increase is very much a conservative number. You know, I, I've seen some angst around that 15% number, and I want to touch on that again. Um, yeah. And, I, you know, I can't go too deep into it, but I, I want to say we were conservative on that number in like four or five unique and important ways. <laughs> and uh, just give us the benefit of the doubt. I think we've earned it. Really, he seems quite confident in their next-gen CPUs. Finally, moving back to the PC World interview, that 170 watts that AMD mentioned during Computex was originally clarified to mean PPT, which is the full package power and not TDP. Well, in an update from Tom's Hardware, AMD clarified that it is in fact TDP. The PPT is a whopping 230 watts, so CPUs for AM5 can have as high as 170 watt TDP, and it's already been confirmed on Reddit that Ryzen 7000 has a configuration that's 170 watts. For those who don't know, that's 65 watts over AMD's current 16 core chip. Now, you might think that comes from the iGPU, but AMD has already confirmed that the iGPU is really just for businesses who don't need a discrete GPU or for PC builders to test their build. It's not going to be enough for gaming or anything like that like we see with their APUs. As Tom's hardware mentions, there could be some extreme version of their 12 or 16 core CPUs given this TDP. I don't know, but AMD's next gen is looking more and more interesting every day. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Intel's next-gen CPUs? And make sure to check out this video's sponsor, Brilliant, in the description below. And as always, have a great day!